Okay, welcome back to Dark Souls, guys. Now, in this episode, the guide is finally going to pick up some steam. We're gonna get several very useful miracles. We're gonna talk to Onion Bro here. You did much for me up above. I am grateful. You know, I was thinking the gate, the old fortress. Was that your thing? Make sure you answer yes. Yes, I knew it. It seemed like an unlikely coincidence. Well, am I fortunate? This might of Katarina thanks you sincerely. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. And as a reward, we get the miracle Emmet Force. There you are. Now, this thing down below is great. It's one of my favorite miracles in the game. Venturing is my life. I'm if this guy ever stops talking. <laughs> Okay, goodbye. This thing, I'm gonna show it off in just a second. We have one more thing to do. And that is to restore the Firekeeper. Thank you. So she's back. The bonfire is back. Everything is great. We can upgrade our Estus with her again. Even though I don't have... Uh, any souls on me, Firekeeper souls. I only hope that my Might go down to New Londo and get okay. that first one. We'll see. Anyways, I'm gonna go back and we're gonna check out Emmet Force. I'm gonna get rid of Force. Not that it's useless, it's really good, but this is just better. So Emmet Force basically shoots out this ball of magic hope I didn't hit Greg's with it uh, let's show it off on these enemies it's basically uh, like a uh, long range force except it deals damage it only has uh, six castings so you're not gonna be using it as frequently and it takes a longer time to cast but man I just love shooting enemies with this thing they just go flying. Love it. Definitely gonna be using this one quite a few times. Alright, let's go ahead and rest. You probably noticed by now that I have 24,000 souls. And the reason I have 24,000 souls is because I now possess 10 Eyes of Death. Yes, I went to the... Uh, area with all the basilisks in the depths and I went ahead and farmed it didn't take me that long probably like 20 minutes it uh, the eyes of death must must be must be kind of frequent let's switch back to the wolf ring no wait what did I have on oh this one so yeah it's fairly common that drop I farmed for 10 of them because I'm still in the grave lord covenant we're gonna get a new miracle from good old Mito. But before we head down, let's go ahead and talk to Framd. I need to wake, wake him up. No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Well, I'm yeah, 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 shut up. Take me down to uh, the altar. Heavens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've all seen this before. He freaks out. And down we go. God, this guy is disgusting. So yeah, anyways, Seven Eyes of Death wasn't really hard to get. I did get cursed once, which was annoying. It's not as bad as it once was uh, at the beginning of the game. You can just walk back to Firelink, go to the Undead Merchant. I used up one of the Souls of the, a Proud Knight that I picked up bought a purging stone and now you can warp back to uh, the depths and I can just go ahead and farm more I think I've this is only the second time I've ever been cursed doesn't happen doesn't happen to me often which is a good thing let's place this thing I still have no idea how the hell he carried this thing all the way he over here 
Maybe he kept it in his pocket or something. I don't know, it's a game. Who cares? God, my face is all fucking hollowed out. It's because I got cursed. I'm gonna just switch back to human. By the way, that farming ground for the Eyes of Death is also a pretty good farming ground for humanity. Because you have to fight several groups of rats. But now with the DLC, you have the uh, area with all the humanity sprites. That's a much better, f much better place to farm. Alright, let's go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, we have to kill Nito, Witch of Isolith, Seath, Four Kings, and then finally Gwyn. We all know the drill. Alright, let's get going here. Fuck. Uh, I wanna go get the... I don't know how much uh, time I'll have. We're only 6 minutes in. I wanna go ahead and get the... Uh, Dark Moon Seance Ring. Then I'm gonna... Go ahead and get the... Miracle with Gravelord Nito. Kill Pinwheel. Gonna summon Paladin Leroy because we want his shit. And then I'll see how much... I probably have time to get to the first bonfire of the Tomb of Giants. Maybe rescue Rhea? Not sure. Now with this Divine Halberd plus 5... Plus 4 actually. Only plus 4. I probably have enough to upgrade it to plus 5 but... You know... I've been kind of lazy with that. Oh, I need to level up, because don't want to lose my 25,000 souls. Alright, kill these two. Just trying to think of the best place to jump down. The closest I'll get to the Dark Moon Seance Ring. Probably if I take the first jump, that will get me closer. Yeah, I think it will. Alright, let's rest up and get a couple of levels. Only one level? Are you serious? Well, I'm gonna go for faith. Alright. We have to kill these two idiots again. This Divine Halberd is really powerful. But these guys are, are are kind of weak. The Tomb of Giants is going to be a bit more of a challenge. Whoa, crap. Alright, my spinning attack did the trick. What did you drop? Probably something useless. Yep. Useless. Why would any anyone want to use that shield? I don't know. It doesn't even look that cool. Because some of the weaker shields, at least they look okay. Oh shit. That was bad. Heal up. Ha, <laughs> trying to dodge away from a halberd, that's not gonna work. Hello. Goodbye. Alright, I think this is where the ring is. If I remember correctly. Yes, it is. There should be a necromancer in here somewhere. But if he 
decided to take a vacation. I'm not gonna go ahead and search for him. Yeah, there's an archer here. You can actually come here without a divine weapon and get by. It's kind of easier this way. A lot easier, actually. Oh, hello. This guy seems to be a lot weaker than the giant skeletons will find later. So don't worry too much about him. Now I think if we go out this way, the normal way, there's a ladder right over here. It's kind of difficult to see this ladder, especially when there's an asshole shooting at you. But luckily my silver knight armor saves me. Take care of these two archers. Ha. You're dead. Just so that he could leave me alone. Alright, let's get back up. And I think the way to get out is to roll onto that. No, it's not. God, how do you get out of this place? Oh, wait, there we go. Normally I just homeward bone out. But I'm pretty sure that le this leads to... No, it doesn't. There is one more miracle in here. The It's Tranquil Walk of Peace. But I cannot for the life of me remember how to get it. Uh, I'm thinking. It's a bit further in back. So we have to backtrack a bit. I don't know. You know what? I might just have to log look this up. I'm gonna do this first. Get the miracle from Nito. Climb in. And this should take a bit less time than it did the first time. At least I think it should. Come on, hurry up. I have plenty of eyes of death with me. There we go. I've shown this cutscene before. Yep. Alright, where are you, Nito? <coughs> okay, there he is. So, I'm gonna go ahead and give him all the eyes of death. And I'm gonna look up Tranquil Walk of Peace. And I'll be back in a second, guys. See you later. Okay, here we go, the final Eye of Death. For deepening the allegiance with him, we get the Gravelord Greatsword Dance. Now this thing essentially works exactly the same way as Gravelord Sword Dance, except it's a lot more powerful, and I mean a lot more powerful. So as soon as I get to a bonfire, I'm gonna show it off probably gonna use it too but before we do that I was being an idiot I was right there in the room with the Dark Moon seance ring oh shit don't go the wrong way and that is where you get to Tranquil Walk of Peace uh, I once cut it on a character completely by accident it was a, it was a long time ago because usually uh, that's not a miracle I go for even if I use a faith build but well, this is only the second time I've used a faith build and yeah my very first character kind of was a faith build my first walkthrough but it wasn't really so anyways if we drop down here I think one of these walls yep there it is how the hell did I miss that I'm such an idiot Alright, there are going to be enemies here. 
think a necromancer is gonna show up soon. Yep, there he is. And he gave me humanity, which is nice. Okay, wait a second. No, this is not where I need to go. Climb this ladder. And let's see. God, I've... I haven't been here in so long. I think this is it. Yep. Here it is. Tranquil Walk of Peace. Okay, just gotta figure out where I am. Oh, I'm al almost back at the bonfire. That's convenient, actually. Very convenient, because I can go back and I can show off all the stuff I just got. Without having to waste a homeward bone. Even though I did buy some, I used a couple of souls to buy 10 homeward bones. Alright, let's attune all this to the, all this stuff. Uh, interestingly, Gravelord Greatsword Dance uh, is more powerful, but still only re requires one slot. And I'm not gonna switch out heal. Let's see. Greylord Greatsword Dance. This is what it looks like. Fucking awesome. That's such a badass miracle. Let's see if we can put it to good use. Oh yeah. 469. That is great damage. And I'm not sure if this is actually gonna work. I don't know what Tranquil Walk of Peace does in PvE. But essentially... We're gonna cast it. And we're gonna see if it works. Yeah, it actually does work. Doesn't last for very long. Huh. I don't know why players love this thing so much, or used to love this thing. This is one of those miracles, along with um, Wrath of the Gods, that is uh, kind of hated by the community. And that's kind of stupid, because it's not the ability. The ability was put in there for good reason. It's just how people use it. Oh, fuck, I keep screwing up. I need to turn back into human. Because if you don't summon Paladin Leroy for... Uh, what what are the, What's that guy called? Pinwheel. He's not going to show up in the Tomb of the Giants. And you cannot get his stuff. So yeah, it's not actually the miracle, it's how people use it. And I've seen people use Tranquil Walk of Peace fairly. If you're running a light build, uh, it is fair to use Tranquil Walk of Peace, I think. But if you're wearing full giants, well, actually you cannot do that anymore. Because people used to have like full giants, uh, Chaos Rapier plus 5. And then they just use Tranquil Walk of Peace and backstab you. Especially if they had an invader, not invader, if they had a phantom to help them. Ah, oh, that was bad. Should have waited for these guys to explode. Alright, heal up. And here we get... No, it's not here. I think it's right... Huh. Oh, it's right down there. Let's summon Paladin Leroy. I should still have cu a couple of poison arrows. Probably not gonna do much damage against these guys, but... You know. If I can take a couple out... 
Okay, I'm not gonna take a couple out because they're right down there. Okay, we're gonna go get this. Now what this is, is the cleric starting set. But, uh, interestingly, when you start out with the cleric set, it's incomplete. It's missing the hat for some reason, which is kind of weird. Okay, come on, Leroy. But here you can get the hat. It isn't really anything special. I don't think I've ever worn it. Yeah, it looks kind of stupid. Especially with the Silver Knight set. Anyways, easiest boss of the game. Oh wait, switch back to my Catalyst. Wait, let's check if my Canvas Talisman started doing more damage. Yeah, it has. Well, not m more damage, more Miracle Adjust. Let's see if Gravelord uh, Sword Dance works against Pinwheel. Might just get me killed. I'm gonna skip this. Oops, don't go into the start menu. Oh yeah, it nearly got me killed. But wow, it can knock down Pinwheel. That's kind of weird. Never knew you could do that. Uh, Leroy, you wanna get to work or are you just gonna stand there? Okay, you use the Wrath of God sting. Wow, a lot of fake pinwheels flying around. What the fuck was that? Did I just get killed by pinwheel? Wow, I mean he's dead. But I'm dead too. Oh well. It doesn't matter. It was bound to happen after a while. He fight these bosses. I've never seen him do anything like that. I've never seen him summon that many clones of himself. Whatever. I just need to make sure that I get back. Actually, what I'm gonna do... Just for insurance. I'm not gonna die. But you never know. But yeah, I'm actually kind of glad I got killed by Pinwheel. It really doesn't bother me, but... You know, as I said, after a while, it's gonna happen. Okay, now this is where I gotta be careful, because... These assholes might get me here. Though if I have the eagle shield, I should be fine. Yeah, there we go. Wanna drop a bone wheel shield for me? No, not gonna happen. That's another one of those items that I've never possessed. Probably that and the Channeler Strident are the only two things I can think of right now that I haven't had. This can't be bothered to farm for them. Oh wait, shit, I don't have a Skull Lantern. Oh well, who cares? Well, actually, I probably should care, because I just died. But the rare ring saves me. Always nice to have that thing around. And it breaks, who cares. Probably should go ahead and clear out that room. But first of all, we're gonna finally get 30 faith. And... 20 endurance. I think I'm fine for now.
Yeah, I'm gonna have to clear out the, the room with all the uh, wheel skeletons. Because I need to get to that guy that drops the skull lantern every time. I thought that I would get lucky and have one of the other necromancers drop it, but you know, that rarely happens. I think it's a guaranteed drop it, that guy. Or it might work the same way the gargoyle's halberd works. In that if you don't get it the first time, you'll definitely get it with the last gargoyle you fight in an Orlando. God, these guys are so annoying to fight. But luckily I can one-shot them. Just need to be careful they don't do the same thing to me. At least I have some poise. You know how I was talking about karmic justice being a useless miracle? Well, this is one of the situations it's actually useful in. Because you have a shield like the eagle shield that has 95 damage reduction. Uh, you can use karmic justice to blast these guys. Okay, I don't think there are any left. Trigger these two. Huh, that one didn't wanna do anything. Alright. What? Ooh, shit. Didn't think you'd be here. No skull lantern drop. Okay, it must be one of those things where the last necromancer drops it. Shit. See, this is what happens when you don't go through this place in order. Alright, white titanite. That's gonna be helpful. Well, you know, I'm just gonna have to brave the Tomb of Giants. God damn it. Oh well, we're gonna get a lantern soon after we enter. You know what I missed out on? Now that I think about uh, Pinwheel, I missed out on the familiar, the family masks. Not that I ever use those anymore. It's kind of like a new thing to use, in my opinion. But yeah, I missed out on that. Whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna have to end the episode here because I'm running out of time. Uh, let's see. Alright, this is a good place to stop. Next time, I'm gonna move through the Tomb of Giants without a Skull Lantern. Should be interesting. A bit of a challenge. Usually, I find this place to be kind of easy. But yeah, can already see two glowing guys there. We'll see how we do. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.